real heroes believe in themselves. John Winston Lennon was born in the fall of 1940 during a German air raid of Liverpool, England. In the midst of all of this chaos, while others in the city hid in basements and bunkers, the hospitals remained open, and they remained open for the sick, the injured, and the newborns. <coughs> From this birth came a man of love, peace, and artistry. Most of you all know who John Lennon is and what he became. He became a member of a quintet, which was called the Beatles. Uh, John was always known as probably the intellectual and the leader of the group. Um, he believed in himself. At that time, he had a dream. And his dream was for rich, to be rich and famous, both through music. He was inspired early on by a 1955 Ed Sullivan broadcast of Elvis Presley, and he quickly formed a quintet, a quartet, called the Quarrymen. Most of you know what happened from there on. They became very famous and very rich, and successfully toured the United States. In the spring of 1965, the media had gotten hold of the Beatles so much, which became known as a phenomenon, of Beatlemania. During one interview, after many, many endless interviews, a common reporter approached Lennon and wanted to know why did he think the Beatles were so big, and what was it? Now Lennon had answered this question so many times that he was bored, and he sharply answered back, well, you guys are making us big. In fact, you are making us bigger than Jesus Christ. With that statement, Lennon's life and the Beatles changed. From what was a small reporter in a small newspaper had become headlines on newspapers throughout the world the next day. A few days later, Leonard recounted his statement, said that he was just attacking the reporter, and told him that he thought the media had made the Beatles so big and beyond that he could never live up to that. In Yoko Ono's biography, years later, she talked about how Lennon really regretted that statement and it haunted him for years. During the uh, turbulent 60s, at the time of the Vietnam War and civil rights, while his counterparts were writing songs about um, counterculture activities and protests, such as Bob Dylan and Jimi Hendrix, it was John Lennon who decided to follow in the footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi, um, and Jesus Christ, and Buddha, through an act of peace. He staged sit-ins, and later bed-ins, to counter activity that was violent and malicious. He believed that through peace, he could achieve love and unity in the world. He was the one that stated can we give peace a chance? Later on, as the Beatles departed and his demise, he's in his very first solo album, Plastic Ono Band, he wrote a song called God. And the lyrics of that song are sort of a mantra, saying that he doesn't believe in this and that. At the very end of the song, he quotes, I don't believe in Elvis, I don't believe in Zimmerman, which is Bob Dylan, and I don't believe in the Beatles. I just believe in me, and that's reality. I really related to that. I thought that if, if someone could believe in themselves that much, then they could achieve great things. So he taught me that. 